Let's talk about the fact that his hair is glorious. I think that's the better question here. How and what do you use to condition with? Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to Cobra Kai. We're now in season six, episode seven, which is called Dog in the Fight. So last episode, we got back into the, the thick of things, the Sekai Taikai, but things were not going good for Miyagi-Do. They are all broken up and discombobulated and they ended up losing their very first competition, which is where they had to protect the captains. And we see that there's a new player in the ring, which is the Iron Dragons with my man, Louis Tan. And they look like they're gonna be a problem for everybody. So yes, let's jump into this episode and see whether or not Miyagi-Do can get it together and soon. So let's do that. But just before I do, a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know when I drop these episodes, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. Tori Nichols with another point for No, Kobe I was down for the Iron Dra The Western Warriors were like my people. God, Robbie? Drop out! I'm tired of you! Ooh. She took it out with flair! Favorite Zara will secure us another point. Don't be afraid. Get in there, get in there, be aggressive. Just take it slow. Here we go no, with the complicated go coaching again. One of you just needs to learn to be quiet when the other one says something. Ooh, this is hard. I'm rooting for the West End Warriors. Is she really the best person for this team? Kenny really didn't get. Thank you. You deserve that. It's not looking good for y'all. Maybe the final point of the round goes to the Iron Dragons. Sorry, I'm, I'm West End Warriors and the Iron Dragons. I can't help it, you know. All right, this morning's event was tough. It was a spanking. Whoa, whoa, whoa! If that wasn't the elimination round, then what is? That was a warm up, baby. Let's clear your minds. Get some rest. You know, put this behind you. You got this. All right? Hey, don't put all of it behind you. I think you need to reflect a little bit on where you didn't do so well. Yelling at them will not make them fight better, okay? They need encouragement and focus right now. They need points. They need both. You know, the Iron Dragons have fighters from around the world. Their sensei is a former three-time champ. Oh, okay. He's pretty, pretty, pretty I'm not scared of special. Him. I've been letting you do your whole go take a nap, find your balance bullshit. Yeah. Clearly, it's not working. Sometimes you just need a nap and a Snickers. You know what's bullshit? Letting them keep losing because you care more about honoring some dead guy's legacy Here than we doing go again. will actually help them win. Mr. La Russo. Breathe through it, Daniel. But once again, Johnny, crossing a line he doesn't need to. Because if she started talking about your mama that way, you wouldn't be too too happy, would you? Well, is that the bill from the minibar? Yeah. <laughs> no. I gotta go. This is important. I'll be back before the next event. Do you even know where you're going? Someone's in a hurry. <laughs> Shut up. Well, I totally sucked out there. Yeah, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, but I landed flat on my ass. Well, you should be, because you shouldn't be here. I can't believe I'm making such an embarrassment of myself. I can. Though, it was awesome to see other badass girls of karate fighting out there. None of them are in here, though. I'm here to win for you. Uh, 203K? Highly unlikely. Have you seen Instagram lives? Ain't nobody at 200k on the live. We're talking maybe 10 tops. For fighters who won the events. It's a brand thing, so don't take it personally. I mean, I get it. Winners only, baby. What, you're already giving up on the tournament? Okay, well, let's be realistic here. There's no way that we can win. Why are you here? Yeah, he's probably so bummed out about Tori being on Cobra Kai. Well, he needs to get over it. I mean, at this rate, it's not gonna matter if we advance because he's gonna be the one fighting for us in the finals. We're screwed. Valid points. I don't think it should be you out there. Okay. Thank you for the gratuitous topless shot. Let me get this straight, Daniel. You're on your way to meet some mysterious, potentially dangerous fighter. In, in the, the middle, middle of the, of the night country, in a foreign country. You Thank you. I thought we agreed to move on from digging into Mr. Miyagi's past. Should have. He told me he was against tournaments. Now I find out he's probably yeah. fought in the Yeah, and that doesn't mean he it wasn't true. During a time of his life he never spoke about. Yeah, for a reason. This guy actually knew Mr. Miyagi could shed some light on what really happened. I mean, come on, I got him at least. Do talk you? To. Do you have to? This is when Serrano could meet, and it's not that far. I'm going to be back in plenty of time. Then you won't. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. I, I shouldn't be too long. Do you mind waiting here? Uh, Speraki? Hey, Knew that. Hey. Knew that was happening. They said wait! And he didn't say he would. 
You're in another country, bro. Thank you. Uh, you know what? You're not the only one who speaks Spanish around here. But I would Yo también. think so, that they're, you're in Spain. That is what they speak here in Barcelona. It's Barcelona dipshit. Mm. Of course it is. Yeah. Maybe where you're from, they only eat crab like this. You don't know shit about me or where I come from. I feel like you've given her a pretty good Americans. idea. Coddled, arrogant, privileged. You have no idea. Everything in your life is empty calories. Damn. But maybe it's true. That's not true. There are definitely people who are starving in the U.S. Many, actually. Good news is your dojo won't be around much longer to waste everyone's time. Ooh. Senor. Oh. <laughs> this kid showing up like Batman. For just practicing here, friendly sparring match. Mind your business. Competitors will try to knock their opponents off their platforms. Ooh, a game of chicken. I'm down. We will now call up the first group of fighters. Please don't beat right. Miyagi Do first, please. They will leave from Miyagi Do oh, on platform. It's her tall two. self. Don't let me down, Lee. She will. Now that you put pressure on her. You got this lead, be aggressive. Be aggressive. Yeah. Come on, be aggressive. Come on, don't sit back. Strike. Call that from a mile away. Time, 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Damn. You know who wouldn't have fallen off the platform? Kenny. Oh, at least you still have your clothes. Better check all your internal organs. I don't know who you are. But you can't do this. I'm an American. They can. There must oh, be some kind of mistake. I'm gonna. Okay. Should have thought of that before you left mid tournament. Wow. That is crazy. Step back. Flip him over. Good job, Miguel. See, it's too little, too late, man. We're near the bottom of the standings. There's nothing to celebrate here. Wow, Johnny. Where the hell you think you're going? Back to the hotel to wash off this disgrace. <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Well, some of you will put this behind you, but some of you are gonna carry this for the rest of your lives. Okay, speaking from experience, there, Johnny. And you're gonna go on to live shit lives in shitty apartments. Bro, shit are jobs. you talking about us right now, or do you need a moment? What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you and Daniel? You keep blaming us like this isn't on you, too. Period. If my dad had been there today, we never would have lost like that. Who? You keep disrespecting him, trying to prove that your way is better, when it's so clear that we should have been using miyagi Do. Is it? You shouldn't even be wearing that gi. Hey! Don't talk to my sensei like that. Who? Your sensei got you knocked off the board in 10 seconds, Period. so I would sit down if I were you. I don't even know how you made this team. Truth spoken. Hey, when I'm off to MIT. Just shut the fuck up about MIT. Ooh, that F bombs. Be nice if you did too. Guys, can we just cool it? This isn't helping. Uh oh. We need to focus up. Here it comes. Maybe you should listen to your own advice. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm not finished. No offense, Sensei, but I'm pretty sure we've heard enough from you. Ooh, saucy. You gotta treat kids with respect if you want them to treat you with respect, Johnny. You should know that by now. But pep talks has never really been your thing, Johnny. Truthfully. I am such an idiot. Yep. He led me down the wrong path this whole trip, and now I don't know if I'm ever getting out. He? Sir, no one asked you to go down this path. This was you. To, to prove to you and everyone that I'm a badass, but I ended up doing something I regret. Oh, only because you're losing? I knew I couldn't beat Kenny, so I had to cheat to make sure I would win. And, and now I'm here, and I'm getting demolished out there. I can't compete with the others. Mm. And that's why you're confessing. If I had a dollar for every time I'd done something I regret. You'd be as rich as your stepdaddy. I'll always have your back, all right? So don't think about regret right now. Just think about kicking ass out there. Oh, that's it. Okay. Because I know you can. Kenny, should have been here. Not here, but that's fine. Hey, LaRusso, look, uh, it's me, it's Johnny. Listen, uh, I know I said some things like, you know, you shouldn't come back or whatever. And stuff about Mr. Miyagi? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, I guess I need you too. So, look at you. Just get your ass back. Once in. again, hindsight. 
If only we'd had this mental attitude a little earlier. Houdini! Jesus Christ. <laughs> well done. Well played. <laughs> Next time, feed your dogs. Period. Poor puppies. Feast, my dogs. Feast. Where do you think you're going? Man 3. Ooh, I like Come the hands on. up. Let's go. Oh, shit, Daniel. Be careful. You know karate. Clearly. Uh, some form of martial arts. Let's talk about the fact that his hair is glorious. I think that's the better question here. How and what do you use to condition with? Of course. You're Cobra Kai. Set up. Right through the sheet. Right through the sheet. Come on. Through the sheet. And at your age, you know your back gonna be messed up for at least two weeks from that. This isn't over. Kick him in the face. You know, fun, Daniel. You can hold a grudge all you want, but I want a fair and square back home. Sure. But you're also gonna be the reason that we go home with nothing. So that either is the up, price of leadership. Or admit that I'm fighting better than you and hand it over. He's not wrong, though. You're gonna have to figure your shit out there, Robbie, quickly. I think you deserve it just as much as he does, but you need to work for it. But you do have more in your mind, it's true. One of your fighters falls. They are out. Damn. But another teammate can climb up to take their place. Well, that's kind of fun. Damn, not tag team. Oh, oh, oh. Just jump off the platform, my guy. What was this dude mean to laugh? Probably. Sis, you sat there waiting for that kick to the face. Oh, don't get jealous, sis. It's not like you didn't have people chanting your name yesterday. She's like, Papa. Papa, are you here? You guys know a lot more about balance than me. So remember everything Sensei LaRusso said. Use all your Miyagi-Do skills to stay up there. But Devin, you'll go next. <laughs> Petty. I love it, Robbie. But honestly, I need you to start fighting seriously, Robbie. For real. Tori is out there actually fighting her ass off. You're out here doing what? Memorizing love poems like, sir, come on. Get off the platform, Robbie. If all you can do is look at your stupid girlfriend, please stay off, please. I'm tired of you. Is she, is she your first girlfriend? Have you never had love before? Is that why this is so much? All right, ladies, get it done. More of that. <laughs> He's like, whatever she's having, double it. I don't know if that was the smartest move, but okay. Nice sacrifice. Was it? Bros, seriously. If you can't get it together here, you deserve to go home. For real. Y'all look like a bunch of clowns. Seriously. We think exactly. Watch how it's done. No one on the same page. Nobody. The only person who had it right up there was poor Sam. That flip was tight. That flip was tight. Balls! No. That was impressive. This triumph sends Miyagi-Do to the next round. He did save y'all asses. Gotta give him that. And Robbie, where were you? Looking at your useless, should be ex girlfriend. What did we learn? Congratulate him, Robbie. Be the bigger man. Hey, Rosa. You won't believe what just happened. Is she okay? Is the baby okay? What's going on? Hey, what, what? Slow down, slow down. Well, well, well. Don't you fall were for missed it, Daniel. At the events today. Don't fall for it. I think you could fuck with me. Not F. I went out for lunch. I got in a, a cab and we, we got It's a long story, okay? Why not tell the truth? 
Oh, what's going on with Rosa? Yeah. I hope the baby's okay. Guess something went wrong with the pregnancy. What? Mm -hmm. I hope when? Okay. Is she gonna be okay? If she's okay too. I don't know. Yeah. Let's so go. We're leaving tonight. I'll take care of it. Just focus on getting there, all right? And just leave everything to me. Right. So if Miguel's leaving, that's why we bring Kenny back. I'm assuming, possibly. Not the way I wanted it, but listen, man, my man Cam Kenny deserved a fair shake. I'm not. I'm still not over it. He did, my man didn't deserve to be played like that. But okay, guys, that was uh, that was the latest episode. And um, yeah, Miyagi Do is still struggling. They're still going through it. I mean, some of it kind of came out after they lost yet another competition, and I think a lot of that airing needed to be put out in the open. I mean, it didn't help, you know, Johnny basically going in there and berating the kids and trying to blame them. That was very much a throwback to Cobra Kai of his youth and the Cobra Kai he was running initially in season one. And again, he should have grown past this, which to a degree, I suppose he has because he did come around later and, you know, apologize to them. And he gave better advice to, um, to uh, what's her name, Devin, when she came and finally admitted the fact that she cheated to get there. But the point is, is that we one would hope that after six seasons Johnny would be to the point where he could skip the part where he's an, a belligerent jerk to everybody and completely blows his gasket and then comes back you know what I'm saying like that's the growth I'm hoping to see from Johnny it should get to the point where again I thought we were there last season where he recognized that there are aspects of Miyagi-Do that are helpful and are better for certain situations and there are aspects of Cobra Kai that are better for situations but him just going in oh, Oh, it's because you guys are just sitting back and waiting and praying and not doing it. You know, I'm gonna need to go in there and fight the one with the 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 kicking each other off of the, the platform, right? You heard Sam say this is balance. This is literally what Miyagi does all about. Almost all of our exercises have to do with maintaining your balance, your physical balance as well as your mental balance, so that you can do better. This is where Miyagi Do is better. I don't care. Just get out there and be aggressive. Okay. They went out and they were aggressive, and one person managed to score a point. One person. And then of course he was like, Oh, that doesn't matter, Miguel because we didn't score it when we were supposed to. What? Right? So, I mean, I get that this is a very important thing. Like the kids seem like, actually I shouldn't say that. I get that Johnny cares about this, but does he care about it for the right reasons, right? And when he gave that whole locker room spiel, he was talking about himself, <laughs> right? That's why I kept saying, who are we talking about, Johnny? Are we talking about these kids? Or are we talking about you and what you should be processing, but with not, not, not taking out on these kids, but processing for yourself. The fact that, oh yeah, you are the one who's got unresolved issues as far as mistakes that you feel you made, as far as you thinking that if you had won that fateful tournament all those years ago, your life would have been different. It wouldn't have been, Johnny, because you were still a belligerent jerk back then. You were still a big, angry ball of emotion. That was the problem, not the tournament, because you could have turned that around easily. That was one tournament, bro. The following season, obviously, without Cobra Kai, because, you know, after that, we all know how that went, but you could have joined another dojo. You could have become the top student in their class and you could have easily won the next year and the year after that you could have built a brand for yourself but instead you wallowed you spiraled and you wallowed and you just made one poor decision after the other that led you to 20 plus years of doing things that just did not serve you that's what you need to own sir it wasn't because of this one moment and maybe when Johnny finally learns to let go of the idea that that tournament is what was the turning point in his life he can actually really genuinely move forward and realize that that's not the case right like it's not to say that there's not pivotal events of course we all have pivotal events in our lives that change a lot of what probably would have been if they didn't occur. But the point is that you can have multiple pivotal points. It's not just one thing, right? It doesn't have to be. If you choose to make that one thing that happened to you your one pivotal point, then so be it. But it doesn't have to be that way. That's why there are people out there who will tell you that they've had multiple, multiple failures, multiple embarrassments, multiple things that did not go the way they wanted. But you know what? They never looked at that as the end of the road. They always looked at ways to either better themselves, better their situation, and to get to where they wanted to get to. And the people who really stick to it, they always get to that point they get that success at some point maybe not on the path that they would have originally chosen but they'll still get there right and again Daniel Daniel very easily could have ended up like Johnny because he was a ball of anger in high school too but Miyagi was that tempering effect he was that person who helped to ground Daniel so that he never went too far to one direction or the other when it came to his emotions and that's why he was able to eventually get to where he is now because he wasn't the privileged kid in that school Johnny was the one who had the platform to be very successful yeah he hated his stepdad and his stepdad was a jerk but the man 
Abraham was rich and Johnny could have springboarded that into a very lucrative life. Daniel's the one that had to go and work and earn and bring himself up because his mom did the best that she could, but they weren't, we saw what happened in the movie if you saw the movies. They were not living in the lap of luxury by any by any stretch. So anyways, point being that Johnny kind of taking out in the kids the stuff that he's still worried about. I'm glad that the kids finally, well, mostly Sam said, listen, first of all, you need to stop blaming only us. Like maybe we're not at our best, which is true. They're distracted, but you and just, you know, you and Daniel not being on the same page is deeply affecting us. You're both giving us contradicting advice. It's very clear there's tension there. We're feeling the tension. It's filling our heads with indecision and we don't know what we're supposed to be doing out there. No one's unified, right? So I really like that, you know, Sam did stand up and tell, <laughs> tell, Mr. tell him basically like, you need to give my dad more respect because that much I will say is that it's true that definitely Daniel is guilty of disrespecting the way that Johnny teaches, but for the most part, he doesn't do it in front of the kids. And especially since they said they were gonna work together as co-do, or was it not co-dojo, sorry, as co-senseis, uh, Daniel's made a concentrated effort not to undermine Johnny in front of the kids. Like if he has a problem, he tries to talk to him about it personally, right? But Johnny has not done that. Johnny will sit there and badmouth him in front of the kids, talk down about him, like just no respect. And I mean, how is that supposed to help the team, right? Especially knowing that one of his kids is on the team, right? Of course, Sam's gonna stand up for her father. But anyway, I'm glad, like I said, that locker room chat kind of had to unearth a few things that needed to go. Like, honestly, Devin should have stayed seated about the whole situation. Like, girl, you're not even supposed to be here. And I love that Sam said, what, what have you won? What have you brought to the team? You've been flopping since you got here. Maybe you need to stop talking and actually start showing us why you should be here. How about that? And then of course we heard, you know, Dimitri and, you know, Dimitri and, and, um, why do you think he's forgetting his name? Um, Hawk, they need to just squash it already. They really just need to squash it. Either decide you're not gonna be friends anymore or just deal with it, both of them. Because this whole like bickering, I mean, for the least to be fair, it's not affecting their fighting as much, but still the cohesiveness of the team. And honestly, when I heard Dimitri say that, oh, we should just pack up and go home since we're the way I almost kicked him out of a window, like bro, you're the one who went through all these lengths to get here just to spite Hawk. If you didn't really wanna be here and you were gonna give up, you could have given that spot to Kenny, okay? Someone who actually wanted to be there. So anyways, don't get me started with Dimitri. But anyways, um, I'm glad they got that out. And then of course, Miguel. Miguel, I disagree with though. The whole thing where he's saying that, oh, like, you know, this spot could have changed my life. You know that. Like they're both in the same spot. And this is what I didn't like about the first section as well. When Miguel basically was like acted as though Robbie should have just handed him the co-captain seat. Like, oh, but I'm the one who, I, my life's gonna be changed. It's like, yeah, but doesn't Robbie deserve a chance to have his life changed too? Like, yes, Robbie's made a lot of poor decisions and the, he's not had the best go of it thus far, but he's actually actively working to do better. He's actually acting to turn his life around and he's he deserves just as much as Miguel does a shot at changing his future with something like that prize money or the endorsements or all the other things that might potentially come along with that, right? So that's more my issue with Miguel and this whole situation like I disagree with him acting like he's more entitled to this in the sense of like he deserves it more because I don't know what whatever reasons he's giving himself. However, I do agree with him in that Robbie needs to get his head out of his ass. Like, honestly, Tori's not worth it. She's not worth it, Robbie. She's not worth it. Y'all been dating for like three months. It's really not that deep. You were acting like this was the mother of your children. She saved you from like drowning in a lake. She carried you on her back across mountains and fields to get you to like, it was not that deep, sir. Maybe she's your first, in which case I get it. You know, there's an emotional attachment there, but it's really not that deep, sir. She is focused. She's out there winning her. Meanwhile, you, every time you score a goal, you're like, did Tori see? Did she see it? Did she see it? Did she approve? Is she watching me? Like, if that's where you're at, bro, get off the platform. Yes, hand over the headband, because you're not ready. You'd rather be out here on Tori's titty rather than getting what needs to be getting done. And so I agree with Miguel on that one, sir. Get your head in the game or get out. Figure it out, figure it out quickly. And it's okay to bow out, by the way. It's okay to say, you know what? I came into this, I was ready to play, but this whole thing with Tori's got my head messed up and I'm just not here. I need time and I know we don't have time. So here it is. Here's the captain's hat, right? And I mean, they're teenagers. I don't expect them to have that level of insight at this point. But my point is like, I really wish that Robbie would figure it out. And I hope that now that Miguel has told him this and he once again got his butt easily kicked off a platform that he should not have, then maybe just maybe he'll wake up and recognize that Miguel's not wrong in the sense that he's not in a position to captain right now. And that sucks because he should be. He should be. So anyway, lots of stuff that got out there that needed to get out there this episode as far as the team. And we see that in the end, it was Miguel who ended up saving them as far as keeping their place in the tournament because everyone had a hard time. Although like, I think the only people who really fought the way they were supposed to were Sam and Devin. And yeah, Sam, Devin, Hawk. Well, Hawk before Dimitri got up there. Yeah, they were pretty much the only ones who really did what they were supposed to on that platform. Everybody else, I don't know. They either were someplace they 
they weren't supposed to be or they weren't paying enough attention. So the team's got to get it together. There's no doubt about that. But I, I think it will definitely start with the coaches, both Daniel and, well, before the what happened at the end of the episode, both Daniel and um, Johnny need to be on the same point, or sorry, on the same page and start again using Cobra Kai when it's ne- when it's necessary when it makes sense, and then using Miyagi Do when it's necessary and makes sense, and amalg- an amalgamation between the two when that makes sense as well. Maybe Chosen would be the right middle ground for that because he kind of worked as a good bridge between the two before, but we all know that he's apparently still laid out because he is very hungover, understandably. So that was kind of the kids and the tournament, and then we see that Daniel went off to- after a tip that he was given for a certain address for the person he was looking for. Of course, it was a plant by Silver. I'm pretty sure that his um, co-sensei, she overheard the conversation of Daniel trying to find out about the headband. They made up the letter. Daniel went without a thought. Everyone telling him, Daniel, slow down. His wife, very real, being like, you're in a foreign country where you don't know anybody, don't know the rules. You're going off, meeting someone you don't know. Like, this does not sound like a smart or a safe thing to do. You know, honestly, to beat the luxury of being a man and not thinking about, because women would never, okay? (laughs) Most women, let me take that back. There's some girls that would. But most women were thinking, "Uh uh-uh, foreign country, person I don't know, you know, all these different factors, I am not going, at least not by myself. But anyways, Daniel, you know, I think he just feels like, first of all, he's trusting and there's nothing wrong with that. But also the fact that, you know, he knows karate. So he's he's feeling like he's going to be fine. And unfortunately, we see that Priest's people end up literally locking him up in a kennel. And I don't know how long they plan to keep him there. My guess was until they got eliminated from the competition. But of course, it was all just to mess with Daniel and to continue to mess with Cobra Kai and, you know, to get to Daniel, right? He's still mad at Daniel. And his mind, Daniel is still absolutely the reason why everything in his life went to hell. But really it was Mr. Miyagi, <laughs> but digressing. <clears throat> so Daniel uh, did manage to get out of the cell eventually. He picked the lock with, uh, honestly, I don't know how he uncoiled a keychain because I don't know that ring. I don't know if you've seen it. That thing is not an easy thing to unbend. So Daniel's got some strong ass grip. That's all I got to say. Be careful. Be careful. That man could probably crush steel in his hands, but digressing. He managed to get out of there and figure out that it was, uh, it was indeed crease behind it and he he ended up unfortunately missing two events because he just had to get back. He did get back and we see that Crease unsurprisingly provoked him and Daniel unsurprisingly took the bait. And of course it's not gonna look good. Crease is not gonna engage Daniel in anything fight wise here. He wants Daniel and, and Cobra, sorry, um, Miyagi-Do to continue to look bad. So thankfully Sam showed up when she did before Daniel did something that would have potentially gotten him sent home. And um, he didn't tell Sam what happened, which again, I don't know if that's because he's embarrassed or maybe it could be he doesn't want her to worry about what happened. But also I just think for the overall mental health of the team, I suppose they don't need to know that Kreese and Cobra Kai are, are stooping to these methods. It's probably just gonna get in their heads in a wrong way. So I guess Yes, I get why he didn't tell her at this point. But anyway, he said that, you know, he's going to be there and he's going to be focused going forward. This, I mean, I have no doubt this Serrano thing is going to pop up again at some point. He's probably going to show up at the tournament. I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happened. But anyways, that's what happened there with Daniel. And then we see that, um, unfortunately, there was a call that Johnny received uh, saying that Rose has been admitted to the hospital about the baby. So him and Miguel are heading back to the States immediately because, of course, of course they are. So yeah, it's now going going to be Daniel, I guess, taking on this, this next phase of the tournament, tournament, just him. I don't think it's a bad thing though, because Daniel has been a little bit more open to, at least since this new amalgamation of the two dojos, he's been the one who's been a bit more open to allowing for some of Johnny's teachings if necessary. So I do think that it's going to be okay with him there. I mean, Crease is definitely going to keep trying to push at him. So that's probably not going to be good. And Daniel is a bit frazzled now, so he might fall for it, but hopefully he'll be able to focus on the kids. And thankfully Daniel's not beefing with the Iron Dragon (laughs) coach the same way that Johnny is, which that's another thing too. We found out that the Iron Dragon's coach is very, very unorthodox. Let's put it that way. He's very forceful in the way that he coaches. Um, This is something that, you know, it's very reminiscent of, well, not, I was going to say Crease, but not really Crease so much as Silver, actually. I think if um, Kenny had seen that, that would have given a bit of PTSD. But anyways, um, this whole idea, Sam witnessed uh, a coaching session and the Iron Dragons coach is, yeah, he's not very nice to his students and one would say that he was abusing them. But um, anyways, for that reason, she's kind of looking at the Iron Dragons people a little bit differently. Um, I think she's a bit worried that they might be like a, a Cobra Kai under crease situation. So anyway, we, that's too sad though, because I love me some Louis Tan. Why do you have to be a villain? (laughs) I kind of knew he would be, but anyway, 
he's still fine though, he's still fine. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. So uh, Miyagi-Do managed to just squeak by and managed to get their place in the tournament, but they are pretty close to the bottom and they are still completely a mess. So in the next couple of episodes, they're gonna have to figure out a way to get it together. I don't know how they're gonna do it, when they're gonna find time to do it, but they need to do it quickly. And I do already foresee that, like I said, if Miguel is back in the States, they're gonna need to send somebody back. So I'm thinking that Kenny is gonna be his replacement until Miguel can return, if Miguel can return. And we'll see what happens with that. I mean, I don't want Robbie to lose the captainship, if you wanna call it that. I do think he he deserves a break, a good break for trying his best to turn everything around. However, if he can't get his head right about Tori, then I need him to pass it off. Maybe give it to Kenny, give it to Hawk, give it to anybody else. But yeah, he needs to figure it out and quickly because our team can't take any more L's, that's for sure. So yeah, another good episode, a little bit on the deeper side, but you know, we need those kind of things and hopefully it's gonna lead us to uh, some good times in the near future. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.